Pops, non la Zara Sogwain. Non, non, non. Hi. This will be my second entry to, not, well, not second entry, but my second look, look that I'm submitting for the Glamize.com and Zen, the Zen 2580s collab contest for the, the, the next glam girl. Yeah, I just wanted to do another look because I felt like I wanted to do something a little bit different than my last one. The last one was kind of actually kind of wearable. Um, uh, it was kind of different, but um, there's nothing really out there about it that really showed like skill, I think. So I wanted to um, do something a little bit more drastic and unique. This look, uh, I'm assuming it's from Next top model, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, the picture looks like it's from this angle. Um, you can't really see her eyelid because she's looking like this, um, but I decided to like put something there that you can't see um, to make it a little bit um, easier to transition. So instead of just having like a straight black, I wanted to, I tried to do like a little blending on the lid a little bit, but when I have my eyes open, you can't really see it that much. This is kind of like a tribal look, and yeah. I'm not sure what else is. Anyway, I hope you like it. Okay, so I'm gonna start again by using the Pixie Primer. I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. All the way up to the brow, inner corner, and also below. And then blend that with a clean finger. I'm putting a little bit on my eyebrow too, just to tighten it. I'm gonna take a sandy eyeshadow color, and I'm just going to lighten my brow a little bit with that. It's going on the top. Okay, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush like this. Oh, this end. And I'm gonna take this um, shimmery nude color called Champagne Glow. And I'm just going to uh, just put that all over, just as a starter color. We're gonna go over most of it anyway. Concentrating more on like the the lash area, and also the brow bone area. Now using the other end of that brush, I'm going to take a matte gray color going in the crease. Don't go above it though, just stay at the crease and then go below, kind of like the opposite of a cut crease. Bring it all the way down until it gets basically right above the lash line and leave that kind of blank. And I want to take a synthetic brush and I'm going to uh, take, this is just a black uh, Halloween makeup. You can use like a gel liner or an eyeliner if you want. And I'm going to make this uh, very sharp, distinctive shape, starting like kind of like you are just like lining a crease. Using this gray as kind of a guideline. And right now I'm gonna take this wing right here and then bring it down to like below the lash line, like kind of where like this kind of like little crease is right here. And then bring it a little bit halfway in. I'm gonna start filling in that color, but make sure you leave it a gap. Yeah, it's basically the basic shape. I'm just gonna go and then blend it downwards. I'm going to go and take this color again and just kind of go along the lower lash line just to keep that from getting any black on it. I'm gonna take this matte black right here. 
And I'm going just to go over that black um, liner. Points be advised about a highly reactive substance known as an acid layer. For this part, I'm going to um, go in with another uh, cream base just to set up the shape. I'll align the waterline real quick. This is also by Pixie, this liner. Sorry, I haven't really been saying the, um, the eyeshadow brands. This is all e.l.f. and I'll have the, um, the products listed below if you'd like. So now I'm going to go and feather out that um, outer edge real quick. I'm gonna go out with the black shadow. Okay, now before I do these dots, I'm going to have to add um, a, this cheek color that's in the photo. Um, and I'm just going to use this NYX eyeshadow in golden orange and this little fan brush. And I'm going to just lightly apply some, kind of in a, a contour sort of way. Kind of dramatic. Um, like where your ear starts and then go in a crescent shape. cheek, just in the outer side right here. And I'm gonna add a little bit to the brow bone as well, just to blend, like, kind of even out the color there. Now for the dots. I'm gonna start by doing the dots as a guideline so I know how far to go. You don't have to be really that perfect because it has to have that kind of like tribal look. And I'm just going to set that with some black eyeshadow so I don't smudge it because I know I would because I'm stupid. 
just dab black eyeshadow over it. So you at the base of your brow. my mind. I'm just going to go and line over my lips. Now I want to go over with um, some muting colors. Please be advised about a highly reactive substance known as an acid rain. Known as an acid rain. No, no, no. Known as an acid rain has been detected in your system. Do not attempt to put my hair back. Yeah, I love the mascara just to add some darkness to the lashes. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of fun and kind of um, Lion King-ish. Reminds me of like an elk or something. Um, so yeah. Bye! Thank you.